Hello, this is Lenka from Supreme Prague. Today I want to show you a wonderful museum of resistance movement of the Second World War. The main building behind me is the main exhibition. Then you can walk through the park as well. And lastly, you'll need to visit the Chapel of St. Anne, the Baroque jewel of architecture. Interesting is to see who owned this building in the first half of the 20th century. In 1909, Ferdinand Blochbauer buys this upper palace. Family Blochbauer is known in connection with the paintings by Gustav Klimt. This is one of the most famous paintings, Adele. It is in connection with the movie Woman in Gold, surely that you have seen, starring Helen Mirren. Very interesting story that you need to see and you need to know. Second owner buys this building in 1929, another Jewish businessman, Friedrich Gerstl. From him, the palace is taken over by the Nazi general high rank official K.H. Frank. Hitler, schnelle Lösung notwendig. Well, Hitler really comes to Czechoslovakia. So for Czechoslovakia, the war basically begins in 1938 with the signature, with the signing of Munich Treaty. And there it said, as policy of appeasement, that the border area, so-called Sudetenland, predominantly inhabited by the Germans, will be given to Hitler with the hope that he will be satisfied and he will not start the war. Did Gabčík or Kubiš ever wore this Czechoslovak helmet before 1939 here in Czechoslovakia? We don't know, but surely we know that Gabčík and Kubiš are the heroes of the anthropoid action. Right now we are here in the upper palace in Panenské Břežany, but just down the road is the lower palace, which was the home of Reinhard Heydrich. He was assassinated and lastly killed as a result of the anthropoid action. If you don't know what I'm talking about, join me in Supreme Prague on our private tour following the steps of anthropoid. Just across the park, we reach the Chapel of St. Anne. This is finished in 1707 in the Baroque style. We call it even the peril of Baroque style architecture. The genius architect is Santini of Italian heritage. We can find here a lot of traces between Prague and Panenske Brzezany, as he's from Prague. We find here the statue of two saints and patrons of our country, St. Vitus and St. Venceslas, both buried in the St. Vitus Cathedral in Prague. We find here also the statue of St. George, as Santini was hired by the Benedictine nuns from the St. George Basilica, located at the Prague Castle. You can visit this museum of Czech resistance on the way to Terezin concentration camp, Dresden or Berlin in Germany, as it's to the north. Or you can contact me directly to Supreme Prague and we can come here just to visit the museum or as well we can combine it together with the Anthropoid tour. In any case, I'm looking forward to seeing you in Prague.